saw these ones. Okay, we just finished our COVID test. The police just came and checked in on us. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I just woke up a bit earlier to pack the parcels from last night. So thanks so much for those that made an order. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna make a coffee though. I'll just wait for Peter to wake up and then we'll have like brekkie together. Um, but yeah, I'll just have a coffee to start off with because I feel like I always need one when I wake up. And then I'm off to pack your orders. Okay, thought I'd show you guys our little Woolies haul. I got some more bananas for my pancakes. I thought I ordered more, but um, barramundi, some grapes. I'll chuck them in the freezer. I'll wash them. Actually, I might pick them and put them in a container because it's a bit annoying eating it <laughs> out of that frozen. Eggs, because Peter goes through them like crazy. I just got some more Yopro, protein yogurt, the bananas, my fave, just some more thickened cream, um, some ham so I can make pizza. Some more mints, we've got heaps of meat from HelloFresh, and then these are just boring. Raid, insect killer, that's for outside. Some more toothpaste. I just realized we don't have paracetamol anywhere in our house. This was on um, sale, I think. The thing I love about like the drop-offs, what's it called? Ordering online, is that you can see all of like the 50% off sales or like the just shit that's on sale basically, which you wouldn't really normally see in store. Cause like, why would I be down this aisle like looking for a sale? Anyways, I realized I hadn't cleaned my dishwasher for months. I think I've cleaned it once since we've lived here, which is gross. Um, so yeah, you basically just like empty dishwasher, put this in and it cleans it all for you. So I'm gonna do that after I um, unload that and I will show you guys the result. I think this was about $5 on sales. Okay, that was oddly satisfying and the most satisfying thing is I think that is literally the perfect. Oh, damn it. I thought it was like the perfect amount. You know what? I'm just going to keep it like that because I'm going to eat them tonight anyways. But yeah, fucking yum. If you haven't had frozen grapes, you haven't lived. Sorry. Okay, so I just cleaned that bit, which is a bit gross. I've taken the cap off and it just says to pierce it. Like that. And then chuck it in. Hey guys, so I just put my pink toner through my hair because I'm filming that TikTok where you like. Yeah. What do they do? Yeah. It's like dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun you know, do you make up? Um, I need to find this. 
I thought I would just film me doing my hair and makeup. So this is what I use straight after the shower when I wash my hair. It's the Olaplex number six. And I just put that through the ends. Oh my God, it feels so different being in a clean freaking room. I honestly can't remember the last time it was clean. And then I go in with the number seven bonding oil and they put a little bit of each, like literal pea size amount on the ends. And then I usually would brush it out with my wet brush, but it's in my room. I'll just use this to get it out of my face. Oh, and then I'll like blow dry it with the blow brush after, but I'm going to do my makeup. I need a mirror. This is perfect. This is just from Ikea. It's like dusty. If you're looking for a good mirror, like I know there's a mirror right in front of me, but it's just not the same because I need to like go up close. Holy shit. My skin is like, this is the worst it's ever been. Like, it is so bad. Like the rest of my face is fine. Like I just have a bit of texture and like there's just some really, really small white heads on my forehead, but it's like nothing major, but it's just here. I'm not going to pop them, but like there's three white heads. Like it looks almost cystic. Like, no, it is cystic, but I am researching dermatologists. I'm just putting some of my bum bum cream on. And I'm going as soon as I can get an appointment, um, obviously when I'm out of isolation. Um, Cause actually your comments really did help on my last video saying, um, I tried everything under the sun. I wish I went to a dermatologist um, first um, because they literally prescribed me with what I needed and my skin cleared up straight away. So I'm just gonna do that rather than like trying to find skincare and ways that I can clear it up. So I'm just gonna go there. I also do have like a phone, like Skype meeting with a naturopath. I'm not sure when that is. I need to reply to the email. Um, but yeah, I also have that as well. I need to scrub off this tan. So yeah, I, I'm like really hoping that's gonna help me a lot. I'm sure it will. Um, but yeah, it's just brought down my confidence a lot. Like I, like I said, I don't even want to go on stories. Like the thought of going on stories on my makeup account, which is like my main account with no makeup, like scares me. I don't know, like, I just feel weird. Like it just, I feel gross. Yeah, I know that it's only temporary and time will fix it. Okay, so I'm gonna do my makeup. So for primer, I'm gonna, I actually just got a bunch of like, not old makeup, but like makeup that I've been sent ages ago that I haven't tried. Out. So this is a Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. I've never tried this one. So I'm gonna put that all over. Um, I am gonna go in with this CC cream that I recently got from Adore Beauty. I actually really like it. It's very full coverage. I didn't actually realize how full coverage it was, um, which is good. Like obviously I'm all about full coverage. So you only really need like the littlest bits, um, but this is a good color for my tan, that's the color of it. And I use obviously Bondi Sands, but yeah, just make sure you go in with a little bit first because I went in with like my normal foundation amount the first time I wore it and I was like, holy shit, that's way too much. Um, and I've also been like cleaning my brushes almost every time I do my makeup because of bacteria and stuff. So I'll clean this pretty much straight away and my face brushes and stuff, because that's super important if you have congested skin to keep your makeup brushes clean. So that's a little tip. If you haven't cleaned your makeup brushes in a while and your skin feels congested, honestly, change your pillowcase regularly and um, clean your brushes. Like you don't have to like deep clean them, but I'll just use like a spot treatment um, brush cleaner. This is the one that I use, it's the color one. And yeah, I just spot clean my brushes. Like I've been doing it more lately. Well, every time I've been doing my makeup actually. And yeah, pillowcases as well, because you don't realize how much bacteria on your face goes onto your pillowcases. Okay. So that's like, uh, like one even layer, I guess. I don't think I'm gonna do anything more. I don't feel like I wanna add more color.
coverage because I feel like the more makeup you put on like textured skin the more it like becomes obvious so I'm just gonna leave it at that and go in with concealer I just really love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one's in Custard, and I only just put a little bit underneath my eyes just to brighten it up. And then I'm going to go in with just a damp Beauty Blender and blend it in. Beauty Blender is definitely my favorite brand of Beauty Blender. Um, there's obviously so many on the market, but I haven't found one that works as well as like that brand. So highly recommend. Okay, so that's a little bit of concealer, and then I'm going to go in with this. I actually only recently just opened it. It's the Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm going to use that underneath my eyes to start. I also opened up heaps of like new brushes. I'm just going to chuck that underneath my eyes to set the concealer. so silent in here usually when i'm doing my makeup i have like music playing or like a podcast in the background but i obviously can't for copyright reasons so i'm just gonna lightly put that underneath my eyes and then i think i'm just gonna use this to set the rest of my face um i feel like it doesn't need extra powder i mean it could do around here but i just don't want to irritate that area so I'm just going to take this brush. This is a lust brush and I'm just going to set my face and pack it on. I'm not going to do any like cream contouring. If I was, I would have done that before this. I actually know so many people like friends and actually quite a few influencers that I know of, unless they've gotten off it are on the pill and I'm just really curious to see like obviously eventually they're gonna have to get off the pill and I wonder if their skin will react like mine but I guess everyone is different um I've heard stories of people not breaking out as much going off the pill but this is like literally what my skin was like before I went on the pill when I was 17 so yeah and I need to get my eyebrows done ASAP because they are a hot mess. Okay, I need to look for a brow product. Actually, you know what I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try doing, um, what are they called? Soap brows. But I saw someone, because I don't actually have, I have soap, but it's not like the soap that you can use to brush up your brows with. Like It's like a milky soap, if that makes sense. I don't have like the clear soap, which is what people use. I probably do have brow soap somewhere in my collection but I just CBF and I look for it. But I have seen someone use lash glue. I know, weird, but let me see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I found some lash glue. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Ooh, I should have shook that. It's a bit watery. It's probably really old as well, so. Oh well, okay, I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Let it go tacky, and then I'm going to use that to brush up my brows. I also found this. Did I put it back away? Probably. Okay, I'm just going to use this spoolie that's just on the end of this brow pencil to really brush them up. So I'll just wait for that to go tacky. Okay, let's see if this actually works. I'll zoom in. working a bit my eyebrows are so freaking bushy it actually is working a bit that's a bit cool I can't remember where I saw someone using lash glue I haven't got them done in well probably around a month got them done just before I left to Queensland my brows aren't the perfect brows to do this just because mine are tattooed and I like barely have any hair there. Like I do, but also, I don't know, it doesn't really look good on my brows, I don't reckon. Ooh, someone's just bought something. Sophie from Victoria. Wait, no. 
Yes, Sophie from Victoria and also Nadine also did one half an hour ago. So shout out to you girls if you're watching. I'm just gonna go on with like a brown and just really smoke that out over my whole eyelid, basically in circular motions. I just got a little like alert on my camera saying that it's overheating. Not really, it's in aircon, but okay. So I wet the brush first and I'm like kind of sliding the pigment on. I'm gonna go in with this highlighter. I used to love this, it's from Laura Mercier. It's a really fucking nice one. Um, it's also discontinued, so sorry. <laughs> it's called Indiscretion. Actually, they might have it. It's just really gorgeous. Like, I don't know, you can just tell that it's like really good quality and it just looks really nice on the skin. So yeah, I'm pretty sure from memory. Oh, actually I just got an order from someone that used um, the code in the description. So they must be watching my vlog. So I'm gonna give you a shout out. Her name is Christy from New South Wales and she's made five, no, six orders. She did a little note, left a little note saying, hi Jazz, I've placed a few orders and I've loved every piece of jewelry. My daughters also have also started watching you and love your jewelry and videos. We can't wait to see what you bring out next. Thank you so much. That's so funny like that um, people are using the YouTube code. Let me have a look and see if this girl did. Nope. Um, Cassie from South Australia. Hey. And then last one that just came through while my phone was dead is from Tanya and she is from Northern Territory. For liner, you guys know I love the Rimmel one, um, which is great because it's super affordable and you guys can get it really easily just from Priceline, not sponsored. Have worked with them in the past so love the brand. I start off by doing a really thin line on the top. You don't wanna make the line on the top too thick because if you did something amazing with your eyeshadow, it just covers it. And if you have hooded lids, it's not cute. So I recommend the thinner the better. Um, just like that, just something really thin that's probably on the thicker side. But yeah, I try and go as thin as possible. And then to map out my wing, I just kind of pretend that there's a line that goes straight from the side of my eye to the end of my brow. So around there, so that's where you wanna flick it out. So you just use a light hand and you just flick your pen like that. And then you just go, not directly from the top, about half a centimeter from the top and then just kind of like connect it. Oh, I haven't done a wing in ages. My battery literally just died as I was doing the most important part of the wing. Anyways, there's my wing. Now to replicate it on the other side. So you can either do the top bit first or you can do this bit, it doesn't really matter. I'll do the wing first, so I'll go like this, like that, and then sometimes I just do this. I'm just so used to doing wings, I could literally do it with my eyes shut. Like, it takes me two seconds to do a wing now. And that's my wings. I mean, they're definitely cousins, but, oh well, okay. So they're my wings. Once again, that is called the Wonder Ink Eyeliner by Rimmel, amazing felt tip liner, really black and easy to use. So highly recommend. I really like this one from ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just gonna, oh, this is the first time um, I've put, Mascara over these lash extensions. I think I'm going to put something on quite natural, like nothing too intense. I've got heaps of um, 
lashes to choose from actually. These ones look nice. Doll Lash. Yep, that'll do. Doll Lash. Oh, another one. Missed this part, this whole part of my hair. <sighs> yeah, you can't even tell when it's up. Um, or wear my extension. I might go and get it actually. I'll put my lip on. This is the Fenty Sweet Mouth Gloss. I love it. So nice. Okay, let me go get my um, hair extension and put that in because I cannot be taking a video like this. Okay, I'm done. I ended up re-dyeing this bit of hair because it was pissing me off. So that took a little bit of time. There's still like a bit of blonde coming through. So I only kept it in for a few minutes, but it's still better than what it was before. All clean. I use that to clean my brushes, lol. But everything is all nice and clean. There's nothing really on the floor. I need to put this away. Also, I probably wouldn't recommend this brand. I love the concept of these like, um, like styling brushes. I really wanna get the Blow Brush, which is like, an, I think it's an Australian brand because this one overheats and I'm scared that it's gonna like blow up one day. This is just one from Amazon, like real cheap. It was like 40 bucks, but yeah, it gets really hot really easily. And yeah, I've heard some like horror stories about like the cheap ones. So I'm definitely gonna have to get a better one, but that is the look. Now I'm probably just gonna take these extensions out Take this dress off, get dressed into comfies, and go sit on the couch. Actually, no, I'll pack orders first and then I'll answer some questions on my Instagram. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm just having some of that keto chocolate. Got a massive package from Boohoo. This is in the package, love it. Um, I finished my little TikTok, so I'll show you guys that. Um, what else? I just had like dinner at five. I was just really hungry. I didn't have lunch. So I just had like leftovers chicken teriyaki that I made the other day. I made like four portions of it. So I've just been like reheating them for lunches and dinner. And then I, then I have like pesto pasta tomorrow. Anyways, I thought I would pack a few orders. There was one lovely girl that left a note saying, please pack my order in the vlog i do get quite a few messages on like your order saying please pack in the vlog obviously like if i did that every single time someone said that my whole entire vlog would be me packing their order so i'll i'll pick like one a week i'm gonna feature monique's order um she's from queensland thank you so much um she got the amore bangle and then everyday necklace with the angel charm. So I'll show you guys that. Thank you so much, firstly. Secondly, great picks. I literally wear my bangle every single day. All right, so bangle box. I'm gonna go grab one. I'm gonna also show you guys how to clasp it properly. I have gotten a few emails. You have to make sure that when you are putting it on, it's positioned like this. So this needs to be slightly below the clasp. So you can actually bend it 
like it's not going to break the piece but as long as it looks like this so then when you lift it up it's really really firm and it will not detach if it's like this for example which is just straight yes it will clasp but it can unclip so just make sure you just bend it slightly down so it looks like this I'm not sure how well you can see so when you lift it up it's got some sort of resistance to it and then it won't fall off like I've had mine on for months and I mine has never clipped off before so yeah, just make sure that it's clipped nice I always try to make sure when I pack it I position it like that but just in case you're like taking it off and putting it on um like you make sure that it's in that position I also have like a little bangle tip I need to print more off it's like a little bangle tip guide that I'll put in there as well just in case she doesn't watch this vlog or if you are wanting to get it now you know how to clip it so she got that and then I'll grab my necklace box I always test the clasps just to double check that everything is all good definitely recommend 9k if you're wanting your piece to last quite a while the vermeil you can still wear underwater um, it won't tarnish it will fade in color though however 9k will not fade um, in color the way that you can actually tell that it's 9k there's a hallmark on the pieces um, and it should say au375 and that means it's nine karat gold um, the hallmark of 925 is sterling silver based so all of our vermeil pieces will say 925 because their basing is sterling silver so i'm just gonna clip it and then sometimes i just like to go over it with a polishing cloth just to make sure everything's nice and sparkly and then i carefully place it in our necklace box like that chuck it in a little care guide make sure you read this it just tells you how to care for your jewelry and then about the warranty as well and tissue paper i'm gonna give her a free jewelry cloth one of these a bit with some peanuts and I'll write her a little note as well I try to sometimes write like handwritten notes um, but when I've got like so many orders at once um, it is a little bit time-consuming so I'm gonna write her a note do I spell her name right yeah I need to wait for that to dry, otherwise it like goes all over the tissue paper. Then, even though you've seen this 5,000 billion times, sticker. I've already got the care guide. I'm just going to wait for that. I'm going to print that off. gonna quickly do the next one and then I'm gonna go take off my makeup I also got a my bronze is all muddy I also got a new package from Adore Beauty so I'll show you guys what I got but yeah I need to go for a shower or like just wash my face at least and I think I'm gonna do some Pilates as well hey guys happy Tuesday we're just gonna get ready to go and get our second test um, I think we need to go to Joondalup like health campus or something like that. I just did my skincare, but I'll show you guys what I got in the mail the other, oh, yesterday, not the other day. So I got this, um, I got this ASAP B super complex with niacinamide. By the way, thank you guys so much for all of your skincare recommendations. Like it really actually helped. Um, most of you said just if your skin is inflamed like mine, 
just stick to the basics stop putting so many like I don't need to be putting all those serums on um, so for now what I just did was I cleansed with the ASAP um, gentle cleanser and then I just put this on over the top and then just this simple moisturizer and then SPF so that's what I did last night I tried out the liquid gold oh shit and I really liked it it tingled on my skin um, which I like I feel like stuff works when it like when you can feel it so I don't know why that's not going on this is a liquid gold by Alpha H. So I just put that on last night after I cleansed and then I just put that straight on. I didn't put any other serums or anything. Um, but yeah, apparently when your skin's inflamed, you shouldn't really be putting many like products on it. This is an active product. So I won't be using this every night. I'll probably use it like, I don't know, maybe once every three nights or whatever. Um, but yeah, so I used that last night um but yeah that's everything that i got i only got those two things i'm pretty sure yeah from memory that's the only two things that i got from adore beauty um i'll show you guys what other packages i got as well but yeah today we're gonna go get a test i'm actually just so excited to just get out of the house like and just drive my car <laughs> i miss my car so much so yeah that's what we're doing today and then i'll come home and i feel like doing pilates so i'm gonna do a pilates workout and then I got a delivery from my jewelry manufacturer. So I'm going to go through that and then possibly put some stuff online that was sold out. I'm going to show you guys what I got in my, well, not in my PO box because this came to our door. Um, the hell, Hershey's chocolate kit. So random. Like I got a package from this brand. It's called Etude. Etude? What do you mean? How cute is this? Makeup pouch, little brushes. Oh my god, mousse tint. That is so random. These are so freaking cute. I can't deal with the packaging. Thank you so much. Oh my god, look at those colors. That's so pretty. I don't even know where you can get this brand. Like obviously online but i don't know of any like australian retailers that stock this brand but thank you so much that is such a cool little pr gift next two packages are from velvet caviar i've got my airpods case here because i want to change it because oh my god my tan no i'm doing that tonight how cute is this little um airpods case i'm gonna change that actually right now hope you can't see my foot um, okay, so this just slides off, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, cute! I do love this. Maybe I can just take this off and just use this little clip because it's quite handy because I obviously take them to the gym and I can just clip my gym card on it. How cute. Thank you so much. And it does come with one, though, like if you wanted a smaller one. I might change it. Who knows? That one's really cute. Oh, I love this one. That's cute as well. Oh, that one's cute too. They're all cute. And then these little um, phone grips. I used to be obsessed with them. I used to have a phone case called the Move Loop, and I really liked it. And then, I don't know, I just changed my case and forgot about it. But I don't know if I'll put this on because it's like metal. That's really cute though. I might put it on one of my cases and see if I like it. Um, but yeah, this is the case that I currently have. I'm obsessed. It's from Varsity. It's probably my favorite case, TBH, that I've ever had. Like it's so thin, but it's like really, really um, protective. And I have a code for them as well, Jazz15. But yeah, they've got so many cute cases similar to that. But thank you so much, Velvet Caviar sending them and then last but not least we have got one from james cosmetics absolutely love this brand their eye masks are life so they just topped me up with oh i don't have this one 24k hydration i keep them all in the fridge because it just helps de-puff even more but thank you so much for the little top up okay that's it i was actually 
um, meant to have a pickup today for Jazz Handmade. Like I've got so many parcels in there, but it's Australia Day today actually, and I didn't realize it's a public holiday. So yeah, I think, well, I don't think they're coming because I didn't even reply to my text, rude. Nah, they're probably not at work, but um, yeah, I'll have to arrange that for tomorrow. All right, we're in the car. This feels so freaking weird, but we're on our way to go and get a second COVID test. Wish us luck. Hopefully the lady is as gentle as the first lady. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, we just finished our COVID test. Thoughts? That's Peter hated it. That's a fucking joke. <laughs> I told oh. the girl to be gentle. And she, she was gentle, but it definitely was it different. <sighs> it was definitely... Um, a bit more invasive than the airport one. A like bit, the airport one. A bit. Like I could bet I couldn't even <laughs> feel it. Whereas this one went all the way up oh, and she had to like ten seconds per side. The throat one didn't phase me at all. Like but the yeah. nose ones are worse. Yeah. It just makes you cry. <laughs> I, mean, I, I had a bit of tears in my eyes, but yeah, like yeah. I yeah, like so. I think it was fine. <laughs> cool dot <then. laughs> Oh yeah, I've got a dot here. Peter would rather, he just said uh. before. Quarantine for two weeks, then do a COVID test. <laughs> I did an airport one. You need help. I would rather have them every day. Oh, you need. Yeah, but he said no. But you understand. Each per it depends on each person. The deep in nasal cavity, the worse it is. Mine yeah, was obviously I could like deep feel in it, yours. But like, still, it was fine. Nah, mine was obviously you didn't experience what I experienced. End the story. <laughs> or you're just a pussy. <laughs> oh whatever. Oh my god, the day has finally come. All the thanks to me. Six months later. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I probably did like a small square of it when we first started and then I just got bored of it. Which but to fix because you got wrong. <laughs> probably. Holy shit. I I'm gonna get one of those um puzzle mats because there's absolutely no way that new one's gonna be on the table for six months. Um we might frame it. Do you reckon? Get the I Sorry, battery died. Um, yeah, if anyone has any recommendations on what frames, or is it like a special puzzle frame? Surely. Because um, obviously, we want to keep it like this. It's a bit cute. But yeah, I'm definitely getting a puzzle map. I found one on Big W's website for like $15, so I'll definitely get that. So cute. I need to take a photo of that. Just realized I haven't even said hi this morning. How dark does my hair look? Because one, it's dirty. And two, my blonde is now like a dark pink, so it looks dark, but I kind of like it. Anyways, I got some parcels. I am waiting on a couple more from Officeworks, um, but I'm going to show you guys what I got from a few places, and I'm obsessed, like literally obsessed. I'm going to set you guys up like right here on a tripod and show you guys. By the way, the police just came and checked in on us. Again. Third time. Okay. Was and Peter was outside. What were you doing? Spraying, Spraying. for pests and shit. <laughs> and they were like, they just pulled up. Anyways, um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I got a bunch of products for Signet. I just did some stories for them. I actually really love how this looks in my car. Not sponsored, like, by the way. Um, but yeah, I just, not this one. I put the suction one on. I use the, well, it's technically a car mount for my selfies because you can just like suction it on like any sort of like window surface. Jazz 40 might work, but I think it may just be for car accessories. So check that out if you're in need of one. Signet's a really good brand. Um, okay, so first thing I ordered, I already took them out of the box. I've been seeing these all over Instagram and you could say I was influenced by influencers. So Jaquimus is a new um, like designer type brand. It's the same brand as my bag. And this book is just so nice. It's like that linen look. It says images in pink. I absolutely love it. But like inside have the most incredible photos. Not that I bought it to like look through it. I bought it as like a coffee table or like just to have around the house type of book. I think I'm gonna put it on my dining table. I bought both of them, so I can have them both like that, or I can have them both separate. So love them. I think they were only about $60 each. Not gonna lie, when I first like was researching about them, I thought they'd be like really expensive because they're like from the website. But yeah, they're only $60, so that's good. 
I've got another order from Adore Beauty. I'm literally obsessed. So I just needed some more exfoliant. I didn't realize that the cleanser that Esme, um, that I got from Esme was not an exfoliator. I thought it was. So I ended up getting the ASAP Daily Exfoliating Facial Scrub. I just got the bigger tub. And then I also got these silk scrunchies. These are literally $60. $60 for six like hair ties, but they do feel really nice. Um, for those that don't know, obviously silk is less damaging to your hair. So I always have a silk pillowcase on and yeah, I actually do have silk scrunchies, but I don't have like little um, hair ties. So yeah, they're obviously made from silk, like around. I've actually got one in right now. I put one in like straight away and they are actually quite firm. I thought they would be quite, um, What's the word? Loose and not like hold my hair tight. I actually do really like it. Um, they do have it in champagne and they've got like a mixed pack with different um, colors. But yeah, I ended up getting them. I do like it. Is it worth $60? Don't know, like when you can just buy, you know, $2 ones for a pack of like 50, but I guess they are less damaging to your hair. So that's why I got it because I can't afford my hair to damage anymore, TBH. Um, and then I just got a bunch of like freebies and another gift with purchase. Here we've got the Clinique Moisture Surge. I actually really like this. I have a full tub of this somewhere. Don't know where it is. Alpha H Triple Action Cleanser. That's the same brand as the Liquid Gold. And then this is a facial brightener. I've never heard of that brand. So that was the free gift with purchase. So that's what I got from Adore Beauty. So I always get questions asking where I get my um, Apple Watch band on. I don't have it on at the moment, but I get it from Converted Kicks, which is a UK like small business, I guess. They reached out to me months ago. Like I've had that for ages and I always get questions asking where it's from. It's from Converted Kicks and it is a Louis Vuitton strap, not from the website, obviously, but they use authentic bags. So he literally buys like, I don't know if they're new or vintage and he cuts them up and makes really cool stuff. So he sent me some stuff from his Valentine's Day collection and he also gave me a discount code from memory. I think it's just Jazz or it could be Jazz 10. I'll leave it on the screen. I'll have to have a look through our DMs, but I'm so obsessed. So he got me a brand new band. So this one's pink on the inside. I'm pretty sure the one I have is just brown. So that's what the band looks like. Obsessed, like really good quality. Like I've had mine for, I wanna say like eight months and it's, yeah, it's literally still perfect. So thank you so much for another one. Then he also gave me a little card holder. Again, like this is literally a real authentic Louis bag that he's made into this card holder, which is so cool. Like that's the inside. I love the pink. And then I also got a bracelet with pink on the inside. Look at that. Do I want my tan please? Like how cool is that? I already have um, like a bracelet like this from Louis Vuitton. So yeah, I'm keen to like pair that with it. And then two more things. I got so spoiled. A keychain. I might put that on my car keys actually. So one of those and then another one in the shape of a love heart with rose gold detailing. I'm dying. How cute would this be for like a gift idea or even like for yourself, obviously, but how cool, but wait, you are going to have a heart attack because I did when I opened this box. I did. I actually didn't expect him to send me some more shoes. He just said that he was sending me the Valentine's Day collection. I had no idea because usually he sent me like three pairs of shoes so far, so grateful. And he'll always like take a photo of what, um, they are, but I had no idea that he was sending these ones. And the coincidence is so weird. So, are you ready? You're gonna absolutely freaking die.
deal. What do you mean? Look how fucking sick that is. Like, how? So yeah, that's everything that arrived today. I also got a um, package of thank you cards, but like, you know what they look like, that's boring. Um, also, I think Peter's mum or dad, I think dad, shout out to you, Frank, for going out and getting some groceries for us and checking my PO box. He's gonna come around, I'm guessing later on, to drop off some PO box mail that I have. I've been getting emails like the past couple days, so I'll show you guys that as well. Um, and yeah, just some food that we need, but I'm honestly that excited for Saturday. It's so annoying because we arrived on Friday, but because we arrived on the Friday, it has to be like two weeks. So we officially get out Friday, like, well, yeah, Friday at 12 AM, which is annoying. Like it should have been the time, like it should have ended the time that we landed or at least got to the house, I reckon anyways, which is around, what time do we get here? Like. 2 2 or 3 p.m but yeah we've got to wait until 12 or basically the next day so saturday when we can leave the house peter's like let's go to the gym at 12.01 i was like oh uh, i mean it doesn't sound bad like i would literally just go to get out of the house but i think i'll just wait till saturday um so yeah i filmed some content this morning i filmed like i said the signet content which i needed to film today and I also film my co content because I work with them as well. Um, my new code for 2021 is Jazz2021. By the way, I, I've been getting so many questions. Um, what else? I'll go do the dishes now. I might have a smart protein bar. I've got so many flavors in the pantry, but I always go back to um, salted caramel. I've been using the Thermomix baking paper, like the baking paper, like the silicon, but I don't have any clean ones, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of baking paper. So like a floppy consistency, it's so freaking weird, but I just break it up. I used to break it up in like three sections, but now I do like little mini bite size portions. So I'll do that. And then you don't need to preheat your oven or anything. Go like this. Just put it straight in on 180 for about 12 minutes. And that's it. And it comes out perfect. These are, I'll show you guys my outfit. Like I said before, Princess Polly. I love their freaking crops. And then this is just um, a part of the toweling set that I got from Lorna Jane. All of their, um, shorts are really really comfortable i'll wait until that's done and show you guys the result i might have another coffee or should i have some greens powder I'll show you guys which ones i've been liking actually recently capital i wish you could get this on um elite subs but they don't have the brand i may have to um i could ask them please get this brand because it's amazing um but yeah i'm not going to use that cup So yeah, this is the greens powder that I've been having as of lately, and it doesn't even taste, well, it does. It has an aftertaste of greens powder, but it's like yum because it's chocolate flavored. Looks gross, but it's actually yum as. So that's the brand. If you want a screenshot, if you're looking for a greens powder, UPS Ultimate Greens. And it makes me drink more water. So I dilute it a lot. Mm. Yum. Is it made with whole foods? Because apparently I saw somewhere that it's good to have like greens powders or like greens tablets, tablets that are made with whole foods. I'm not really sure. Naturally sweetened probiotics. If you know much about this brand or like this supplement, like is it good for me? Um, Cause I don't really like taking artificial shit anymore. Um, I'm trying not to, I'm trying to be as clean as I can. Also, by the way, you know how I was asking you guys on stories about a natural pre-workout because I don't really, yeah, I, 
don't really want to take OxyShred anymore. Not that like I don't like it, which I do. I just want to start eating more like cleaner, natural type supplements. The tablets that Peter takes, apparently it's um made with whole foods. Yeah, it's a blend of whole food plant powder naturally enriched with blah, blah, blah. Apparently that one's a good one as well if you're looking for like greens tablets. Um, that one's from Elite Sups, so I'll leave my code down below as well. Um, but yeah, I just try, like I need to get in as much water as I can. I'm really bad with drinking water. Um, I literally have to force myself to drink water. So like if I have to, you know, use powders to get my water in, I will. I knew that wouldn't last. Naked Harvest was really generous to send me a package, which is on the way. I think they said that they were going to gift me the pre-workout to try and then their, um, I was going to say foundation, freaking protein. <laughs> um, apparently it's a vegan protein, um, which I personally don't usually like. The only one that I don't mind from Elite Sups is the Prana brand. Like that was okay. It still had like a pea protein aftertaste. Like I could still taste it, but I could stomach it. Um, and I would finish it, but the rest, no. Like I tried the blessed, didn't like that. What else didn't I like? I actually have so many up there that I need to give away um, because it's just such a waste. What other ones did I not like? Um, I didn't like this. Oh, I haven't tried this one. Muscle Nation, that might be good actually. Um, what's that one? Biotech. That was rank. Yeah. I, I just, yeah, maybe it's just, I'm not used to it. I'm just used to whey protein. So yeah, I'm really excited to try that. So I will let you guys know my honest opinion on those subs as well. Um, which should be coming soon. Hopefully this is them. Yum. Literally 160 calories for like seven cookies essentially like they literally taste like cookies get on it honestly it's fucking incredible okay delivery man has arrived also got a massive office works order which i'll show you as well but i'll go through po box first Ooh, mecca wait no i did not order this so, what new items are at Mecca this month? Oh my god, exciting. Holy shit. Okay, so we've got some new Urban Decay Tinted Glow Hydrator. Oh my god, I'm excited for that. Sent me a couple of shades of that. Some Lily Lashes. I've never tried Lily Lashes before, actually. Peter's just making fish, by the way. Um... We've got some Stila One Step Correct. I used to use this actually back in the day. <laughs> That's funny. Just brought it back. Um, what's in this? This is literally my favorite product ever. Maybe they've just put it in because I don't, it's not new. Anyways, this is the, oh no. They put it in on purpose. This is the Isle of Paradise Medium tanning drops. This is what I mix in with my moisturizer. I haven't been doing it recently just because I want to like try and let my skin breathe and not put as many products on, but this one is my favorite and I'm in medium as well. That's so cool. And then we've got some Summer Fridays oil-free gel cream. If you've tried any of these, let me know as well. What's this? Holistic skincare. Celestial Rose Cream. I have never heard or seen of that brand. Tammy Fender. Is that new? If you've tried that, let me know. We've got some Stila Skin Balm Tinted Moisturizer. Why is it flat? Oh my God, that's cool. So it's like in a pan form. Then we've got some mascara. Also haven't heard of this brand, Talika Paris. 
um, One Step Correct Eye Brightening Cream from Stilla as well. We've got, oh, a Gradual Tanning Mousse by James Red or Reed. I've also never heard of this brand, so let me know if you've tried. Another brand that I have never heard of, Ellis Brooklyn. Oh, it's a perfume. Ooh, that's the bottle. Ooh, that smells fresh. I actually really like that. It's like a really fresh, sweet scent. Like it just smells like you just got out of the shower. I know that's weird, but I really like that one. Again, yeah, I've never heard of that brand before, but thank you so much. And that's everything from that package from Becca, so generous. How am I meant to do an Instagram story? <laughs> when it looks like this, I'm gonna have to make it all cute again. Oh my God, is this the Nikia, Nikita Dragon collab? I think it is. So we've got, yes, Nikita Dragon. I've been meaning to try her makeup line actually. Maybe I'll go on mine later. So we've got some brushes. And then her palette. Let's see what's inside. I'm guessing like green and purple vibes. Kind of. It's very different. That's really cool. My legs are getting sore from kneeling. What is this? Fenty Skin Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. Not gonna lie, I've been sent a lot of Fenty products, but I haven't actually gotten around to trying them. Um, I love their makeup, but I've never tried their skincare. Use every night to help bounce back skin back to life. I'll definitely try it once my skin like settles down. I don't wanna like start introducing so many like new products, but I'll definitely put that in my new pile, which by the way, I got a package from Officeworks. Let me just say, I was, wasn't was shopping for this, but I came across it. I, not gonna lie, I thought these were gonna be like small, small little storage boxes that you can stack. This was 20 bucks for all six of these like they're quite big like big storage boxes and they're not like they don't seem shitty like they're quite thick um i basically just got them for like all my shit because i want to organize myself a bit better um like maybe like makeup so i can put like new skincare or like new makeup that i want to try like straight in here rather than just like putting it on the floor so there you go can't really see that but yeah i'm gonna actually buy another set of six so they came in a set of six i literally just typed in storage in the search bar and they're twenty dollars for like six of them so i was just saying before they would be amazing for shoes like in your closet like if you kept shoes in your closet or whatever so yeah got that jelly baby australia that's random ah, peel off masks I thought, not gonna lie, I thought it was um, gonna be like jelly, like the lolly. Oh, what's this? A little spatula. Oh my God, a little cute little dish. What's this? Brightening jelly face mask. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing it's like powder and then you mix in a bit of water with it and then you put it on as like a like clay maybe type mask. After 15 to 20 minutes, peel off to remove. Oh, it's made in Perth. That's so cool. Thanks guys. I'm gonna have to have a bit of a read about that later on, but that is awesome. Oh, it's another one from Gymshark. Cute, cute. I'm gonna have to let them know that I need a medium in the tops. So I did try on the set that I got like a couple weeks ago. Um, and, oh wow, enjoy Gymshark's newest Apex and Hyper Amplify collection. 
Um, yeah, like the small was just a little bit too snug. So I feel like the medium would be perfect. Is this small? Okay, that small looks large. Like not like a large, but like it doesn't look like a small. Like I feel like that would be good for me in like these kinds of bras. That's actually really cool if you're like needing support. I think these are made to wear underneath like a t-shirt or something. I don't know if you would wear these on their own because they like literally look like a bra. Like I mean you could, it might look different on, but that's really cool. So they sent me those two colors and then some tights as well. Oh, these feel different to what I have gotten in the past. We'll definitely give those a try see small in the um, pants fit but it was just in those um, seamless crops like I found them a little bit too tight for me but I'll definitely try these on that's actually a really cool little idea so thank you so much Gymshark for sending them we've got so so much recycling like we literally probably have to go to the tip on Saturday like that's how much we have I don't think it's gonna fit in our recycling bin we did have an option to upgrade our recycling bin to a bigger one, but like it doesn't fit down the side of our house. Fuck. And all that. Like that's not even a week worth of stuff. So not that for me. This is what I got from Officeworks. So I just got some little trays just for organizing little bits and bobs a sharpie and then this is what i use to organize um the jewelry so i've got quite a few new pieces coming out so i need like separate drawers i guess for that so i bought five of these these are quite good um even for like makeup i guess and they're only 18 dollars each so they're not acrylic they're plastic um acrylic ones are way 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 more expensive um but yeah i got five more of those so i'll do that a bit later on in the week and like organize all the new stuff. Good morning guys. Happy when Thursday? I hope it's Thursday. Oh my God, what day is it? I thought it was Wednesday for a second. I was like, no, happy Thursday. That was so funny. I just got a, um, actually firstly, I wanna give a shout out to Bondi Sands, not Spawn, but you know how I said I wanted to try that like gradual tan, I personally don't really like gradual tans, like lather me up in a fucking dark foam, I'll marinate in it in like six hours, make me dark, but like I wanted to try it, I wanted to give it a go, see how it works, first thing is a con, I'll say all the cons and then all the positives, overall I like it, con, don't sleep in it because it's sticky, it doesn't dry, that's probably because I did two coats, so it did say for a darker, deeper tan, use two coats. Second thing I don't like is it's it's transparent, obviously, so you can't see what you're doing. Look at my foot. No. Anyways. But overall, I'm actually really impressed with the color. Like I was shocked when I woke up this morning and looked in the mirror. I was like, what the fuck? I thought it was meant to be like a gradual tan. Like it's a fully blown, like it's definitely not as dark as the ultra dark. But like it get like I was literally cast with the ghost. It's actually really nice. Like if you want a natural tan, like like I said, it's not as dark as I have been before, but like compared to what I was, really, really nice colour as well. I just, yeah, it, <laughs> even my hands are a bit because I just I just didn't think that like I'd be able to see so much colour. I thought it'd just be like for just some, a subtle tan, but like it does give you a tan um, and it's completely dry now, but I just wouldn't recommend sleeping in it. Overall, really like it. I would definitely, you know what? You could actually probably use it to like top up your tan because it, it's really hydrating. It's got hyaluronic acid in it and vitamin C, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it, it wouldn't dry out your skin with those ingredients. Um, so yeah, I probably am gonna try it when my like mousse tan is like five days old and see if that would like top it up. Um, but yeah, really, really impressed with it. I really want to try the sleep mask. I just haven't been tanning my face. I've got a little bit of powder on, but my skin still looks the same. Um, yeah, I haven't been tanning my face for four days and not gonna lie, it's really hard. I just feel so much more confident with like, 
a tan face. I just feel like I don't need to wear makeup when my face is tanned. Um, but I've just been off those drops just until my skin clears up just to see if maybe that might be one of the reasons why. Um, so yeah, I haven't been um, tanning my face, but they have this hyaluronic acid and vitamin C sleep mask in the same like formula for the Bondi sand. So I'm going to try that. Anyways, I just got a package from the vintage bar. Um, I've worked with them before, but oh my God. So they do authentic, like redesigned pieces. So I'm pretty sure they like must buy authentic designer bags and then like do it up themselves or this is like someone's pre-owned bag. I don't even know if this bag even existed in Louis Vuitton. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna flip you guys around and show you. Not gonna lie, it's definitely a lot smaller than I thought, but it's really cute, I'll show you. Look, it's really cute. So um, it, everything is different on the website. I've only got like one, one or two, or sometimes I've got more than one um, of each item. How cute is that? But I honestly thought it'd be like the size of a pencil case. This is, how can I, um, you can't really show the size, okay, my hand maybe. It's literally the size of my hand. So for reference, it's literally tiny. It's like smaller than a pencil case, but it's really cute. So thanks guys. And it also comes with like a little authenticity, um, what's it called? Certificate. But yeah, I picked that one up from them. I'm not sure how I'm gonna style it, but it's super cute. So thanks guys. Just finished filming a try on haul, about to go in the pool. Oh, it's actually not dirty. Got my Genora, <laughs> this hat though. I don't have a hat, like a big hat. Wearing Myra Swim. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump in for a bit, cool off. It's really hot today, it's like 30 degrees. I'm gonna take a cute little photo of this and put on my story, because I actually really like it. Like, how nice is the tan? Anyways, I'm gonna hop in. <laughs> back with another I have a shopping addiction problem Paul yeah so <laughs> today I got one two three four five six parcels this morning and yes I'm still in like my pajamas I did my hair in a little bun because it was oily look what I did I took out the the cubes from oh my god I actually have so much to update you guys on what the fuck um, so I took the cubes that were in my makeup room out of there because I just, I don't know, I wasn't planning on like filling it with anything. Like I just didn't want to like fill it with like dumb stuff, like for no reason. But I'm going to get one of those. You've probably seen the chairs. I'll leave a photo here. But my hairdresser's selling hers. They're like the little fabric, like huggy bubble chairs. They're so cute. So I was like, I need to get one. So I bought one of her. I'm so excited. I don't even know where you can get new ones. Like they're so hard to get. I'm, I'm sure you could get them online somewhere, but I'm buying one of her. So next time I go in and get my hair done, which by the way, I think I'm just going to let my hair have a break for a bit, have a break from bleaching it and let it grow out, be brown for a bit. Who cares? I might keep the pink. Who knows? But yeah, I'm going to let my, I'm going to try not to bleach it for at least six months. Let's see how, how I last. Um, just to see if my hair improves. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go, I need a book in actually sometime next week. By the way, my isolation finishes tomorrow. I need to open the window. I need to shoot the content for the new drop for Jazz Handmade. So I need to get a few props. I need to take the photos. Um, oh my God, tomorrow is going to be insane. What else are we going to do tomorrow? Grocery shopping. We need to go return something at the shops. Um, we're going to go out for Nando's, probably for dinner. First thing I got was a PR package from Huda Beauty. It is their new, apparently new formula foundation. I'm excited to try. 
Um, not gonna lie, I didn't really give the last formula a good go. It's very full coverage, but I'm gonna give this one a go um, because I want to try and get back into makeup videos. And then I ordered from a website called Sense. It's kind of like uh, Farfetch, but I'm pretty sure it's located in the UK. So it did take quite a while to get to me. And not gonna lie, one of Riley's like little presents was in the package, and I like was afraid that it wasn't gonna arrive in time, but it did. So I got a couple things for myself, obviously. I got a little keychain. How fucking cute is this? Little Jacquemus um, keychain that I can put on my car keys and it's pink. Like what? It's so freaking cute. So I got that. I had to, like I had to get it. And then I, I really wanted some really good quality, nice, um, like sandals slash thongs. Like I've got one other pair of like nice ones that I can wear, like if I wanted to just wear flats, but I saw these ones on the website and I not going to lie. I'm not really like, I wouldn't say like a fan of Givenchy, but I don't know. It's not really a brand that like I look for, or like if I'm like, shopping or something I, I never really go into their store anyways I'm not really phased by this brand but I saw them and I was like wow those are actually really really cute so ooh. so they're like sandals I'll show you I've already unboxed it and tried them on because I was like stressing that they weren't gonna fit because the sizing was a bit weird so I'll show you guys what they look like they only had I'm pretty sure they only had this size left are you ready they're actually the cutest fucking shoes and I'm like a sandal or slide wearer. Look at them. Aren't they the cutest? And they fit me literally perfectly. Like they look really nice on my foot as well. Okay, that's probably like the, <laughs> the worst angle. I'm like flashing, but like, how nice. They literally fit perfect. I ended up getting a 37. I'm usually... 37, 38, depending on the width of the shoe. Um, if it's a really narrow shoe, I'm a 38. Even though, does that even impact like the width of the shoe? I've got a really wide foot. So yeah, these fit me perfectly and I am obsessed. Absolutely love them. I'm so glad I got them. And then I have seen this brand on Instagram actually. Usually see them on like UK based influencers like aka molly may i'm like literally obsessed with her she is fucking fashion she's just goals like i just love her style so anyways um i see this a lot on her this brand it's called essentials i think is it yeah essentials fear of god anyways it's just a really good quality thick oversized hoodie and i got it in an xl so peter can wear it as well um, I was scared that if I just got an L, that might not fit him. So I wanted to get a size that fits both of us. Um, so yeah, I got that. It's like an oversight. It's really thick. It feels really good quality. And the back is just plain, but it just says essentials on it. Don't know why. It just looked really cool. And there's a little detailing here. And I got it in grey because it's like my favourite um, hoodie colour, but... Yeah, I love this. So I got that as well. And that's it. And then I got Riley's little Prezi. And then um, I also got a top up, random, but I got a top up of Every Mite. This is my favorite Vegemite substitute. Not that like I feel like Vegemite is bad or you shouldn't eat Vegemite. I just bought this um, when, I was, ooh, when I was on keto. I think Vegemite is technically keto as it's low carb, but like the ingredients in it isn't so keto. If you're wanting a cleaner alternative, this is amazing. And it's gluten-free, dairy-free, yeast-free, fucking everything free. It's like a clean version, 19 cal, like one cup. It's just a really nice Vegemite alternative. So if you're wanting to find one that has no processed or artificial shit, then this one is for you. I got it from super pharmacy online and it was th it's 13 dollars, but it lasts obviously ages like i've had my last one for like a year i swear expiry date yeah next year like literally october next year so i got another one of those and then um if you saw my Heyman vlog i spoke about this brand because riley had made an order and i tried well I actually used her 
ponytail um, a lot. So I ended up buying a bulk pack and it came with, is it three or four? I swear, oh yeah, four. There was four in a set and um, I was actually, when I, I, cause I've already opened all these up, I was like, oh my God, these are actually pretty good quality. They are synthetic hair, so you can't style them, but they come styled. So I got this piece, something a bit extra. Um, it comes with bobby pins and it also comes with like another little strand of hair, I think. I don't know what that is actually. That's really weird. I haven't seen what that is. Extra hair? Yeah, it's just like a piece of hair, but like how do you put it in? I'm so confused. Might have to look online. Let me take it out of this. Yeah, they all come with like this little extra piece of hair. I'm just confused on how this would work in a ponytail. If anyone knows what this bit's for, like, cause there's no clip or anything. I'm gonna have to definitely like look that up cause that's fucking weird. Anyways, so yeah, I got four different styles to show you guys. They're from the brand called Insert Name here. The only con is that it took probably a month and a half to get here from the UK, I think. Um, but yeah, I literally forgot about <laughs> I forgot about this because I ordered it back in Hayman Island when we were just chilling. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the other ones that I've got. This longer one. See how they're like nice and styled at the end? You can't really tell. Hold on. Do this. Oh, actually, this one's a long one. Never mind, this one's not styled. This one is just a thick, long hair extension. Um, and then the other one like flicks out a bit. So there's that one. I think the one that I've been using from Riley, yeah. It's like a shorter one and it like flicks out at the end. But yeah, I got the style Lola Champagne for those wondering, and it works well with my hair when it's nice and toned. I got a package from Naked Harvest. I'm so excited to try this stuff. Um, you would have seen me on Instagram asking. Actually, did I mention on the vlog that I've been on the hunt to find a good pre-workout, but that doesn't feel like fucking ants are crawling all over my body. So I got a email from Naked Harvest. And they were like, we would love to send you some of our products to try. And I was like, hell yeah. Oh my God, cute. Water bottle. Love that. Can't have enough water bottles. Just another water bottle. I love this one. I love freaking those water bottles that like keep everything nice and cold. Okay, so... I literally said to the girl that was emailing me, just send me like your favorite or like bestseller. So she sent me, oh, I always want to try this. Naked Harvest Thrive Plant Protein Chocolate Swirl. I might try it today actually in a protein shake. This one is Christman, Christman, Christmas Cinnamon Cookies. And then a bunch of pre-workouts. So this one is in Candy Cane. Um, let's have a look. 7 cows, 7.5 cows, 0.7 carbs, um, healthy body mind, no hidden nasties, and uniquely formulated ingredients to enhance your performance naturally. Pop a scoop, stir, pop the lid off, scoop three level NH scoops or teaspoons. So one serving is three. Should I start with one maybe, just in case? I'll definitely try it today. I'm going to do a workout. Um, and let you guys know. Oh my God, this is the product that I purchased a couple months ago and I love it. It's like that, um, did I already mention it? It's like a hot chocolate alternative, but it's got magnesium in it. So it's good for muscle recovery. And then another one, another pre-workout and fat burning blend. It's in, sorry, sweet strawberry. So thank you so much at the team, Georgie and the team at Naked Harvest for sending those goodies. I cannot wait to try. I will, of course, let you know my thoughts. Ow. Also, how am I going to show you this anklet without, like, showing you my foot? Because that's fucking disgusting. 
anklets coming soon. I'm not sure if they're going to be a part of the Valentine's Day collection. If they come in time, I'll definitely add them. But I have a feeling that they'll come after next week. Um, whereas I've got already half the stock that will be going live next week, by the way. So it's not announced, but so far it's looking at the 6th of February. So next Friday. Um, and I'll, of course, show you next week. Or will I show you this weekend? What pieces? I think I'm going to have to show you next week. Th this week for next week. Yep, I will. Maybe I'll show you guys that on Sunday, if you're lucky. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll show you guys some of the pieces on Sunday, but I thought I would show you one piece now, which is, okay, I'm not flipping you off, I swear. The Love Heart Ring. The Amour Ring will definitely be in the collection. I've had so many people asking about it. I'm also wearing Cherry Charm and... Look how cute these little letter charms are. I am freaking obsessed. So that's the J charm. So we're going to be having little mini letter charms that you can either put on your everyday or Cuban necklace. So yeah, the little mini letter charms are so freaking cute. I've been seeing so many like necklaces with little um, letters on them around lately and they seem to be really popular. But I obviously wanted um, just to create the charm so you can put it on your huggies. And we're also coming out with like little sleepers. I'll show you a sneak peek. I was wearing it in my Helix for ages with the little J charm. I'll just show you guys in the packet. But they're the little sleepers. So they're just obviously a thinner version of the Huggies. I'll show you guys what the Huggies look like in comparison. So the Huggies are a lot thicker. So the top ones are Huggies and the bottom ones are Sleepers. For now, the Sleepers are only coming in gold. So 14K, which is a new addition as well. Um, 14K white and yellow gold. Um, I just feel like with Sleepers, they're definitely made just to wear 24-7 and not take them out, put them in, take them out, put them in. So that's why I only made them in um, yellow gold and white gold. But if you would like solid rose gold, because I know a lot of people do still buy rose gold. It's definitely not the most popular um, material. Like the gold and the silver go so much quicker than the rose gold. But I still want like, you know that material for those that only really wear rose gold. Um, let me know if you'd want those sleepers in like a solid rose gold, not just a plating, because I can definitely um, make that happen. I just thought I would start off with um, white gold and yellow gold just because they're the most popular colors. So yeah, the sleepers will only come in um, solid gold and then all the rest will come in the plated and gold as well. But yeah, we're slowly introducing 14 karat across the whole collection for those that want 14 karat gold. We also have our round bangles in hollowed 9 karat gold. So if you've always been wanting a 9k bangle, this one that I wear is 9k. I am literally obsessed. Although I did wear the Vermeer one for ages as well. Um, but yeah, the 9k bangles are now on the website. There's only a few sizes left, but um, yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Okay, I'm going to go pack all this away. I need to pack a couple of orders before the postie comes. Um, I want to do a workout. I need to organize my day tomorrow, like have everything planned out because I need to get a lot of things. these Lorna Jane tights I got them recently bomb I feel like not saying this because I'm fat but I feel a bit skinny in them you know when you just like put on clothes and you're just like whoa like I look skinny that's that's me in these tights today so yeah they're I think it's this 
This is giving me like a small waist illusion. So I'm, I'm blaming the tights. This is just a Princess Polly top, but yeah, they're so fucking flattering and really comfortable. These ones are in a size small. Glad that I did get a small in them because they've kind of loosened up as I've worn them. But I'm loving this outfit. We're actually, I didn't mention, we're gonna go to the gym after Peter gets home. So he'll get dressed. I'll finish um, packing the parcels and we're gonna go to the gym. I'm probably gonna do, I don't know, I'll go on the treadmill for a bit to warm up, but I might do a little weight sesh because um, Hayley did me up a program. So I might just do that at the gym. TBH. Um, so yeah, excited actually. Okay, I haven't vlogged, but we just got ready. I'm wearing, oh, our DD's on the way. I'm wearing this set from Princess Polly. We're gonna go to Grilled and then Holy Moly for a bit of fun. <laughs> Ruin my little OOTD. So yeah, this is from Princess Polly, I'm wearing my new shoes. And yeah, I need to get the keys, but um, I probably won't vlog when I'm out there because this camera is bulky. Of course, right, girls. And yes, I brought my camera out. Yum. Just got the famous Get Chunky. Holy shit. It's good. Sunday everyone looks like we're going into a lockdown as of tomorrow for five days because yeah. someone oh tonight yeah, but it's not like a proper one yeah it's stage three lockdown which is like we can still go to the gym apparently go to the shops like to get groceries but yeah love that for us just got out of lockdown straight back in but yeah today we're gonna go take the recycling like the cardboard boxes to like the recycling place and we just need to go to the shops to get a few things um but yeah just thought i'd give you an update hey guys so i haven't vlogged oh my god my hair um i haven't vlogged since the car but basically today we went to the shopping center to get a few things as we were getting into the car that we were about to go into a five-day lockdown here in perth because they found a case of COVID. I took all my nails off because I have to shoot content for Jazz Handmade because we're launching next week. Um, and I was meant to have a nail appointment yesterday, but obviously everything's gonna be closed for the next five days. I also had a skin appointment that I had to reschedule. Well, not reschedule because they don't know whether they'll extend it or whatever, but yeah, I feel so naked without nails. I feel like I can't do anything with fake nails, without fake nails, sorry. But yeah, anyways, I'm about to go and pack some orders. I need to finish editing this vlog. I feel like tonight's gonna be a long one. I was literally working on the website all afternoon when we got home, like putting up all of our new arrivals all ready for next week. I know I said I was gonna show you guys the new, um, like the new products that will be on the website, but I'm sure you'll see it on the Instagram pages. So make sure you guys follow Jazz Handmade and Jazz Goes Fitspo and Makeup by Jazz. Um, you'll be able to see all of the new stuff going live this week. Well, yeah, this week, this Friday. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're in lockdown, we got this. It's only five days, do something productive, clean out your wardrobe, do something that you've always wanted to do in your room, in your house. I hope you're all doing well. We got this Perth and um, I will see you guys next week. Bye.